I am sick and tired of this administration, Joe Biden condemns Trump's rhetoric and says words matter as he bemoans surge in hate-fueled violence. Former Vice President Joe Biden says he is sick and tired of Trump's administration as he condemned the president's rhetoric against the media and his political adversaries. Biden also bemoaned the surge in hate-fueled violence in recent days as he rallied young voters in both Wisconsin and Iowa on Tuesday ahead of next week's midterms. During a stop in Madison, Wisconsin, the Democrats said words matter as he lashed out at the president for his rhetoric and bemoaned the tone of Trump-era politics. I am sick and tired of this administration, Biden told the crowd. I am sick and tired of what's going on. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired, and I hope you are too. Later, Biden traveled to Cedar Rapids in Iowa, where he delivered a similar message. It's our leaders who need to set the tone and dial down the temperature and restore some dignity to our national dialogue, Biden said. Biden is currently on a trip across the Midwest as he campaigns for Democrats in states that Trump carried in 2016. The Iowa stop had special significance as Biden weighs a bid for the 2020 Democratic presidential nomination. Other rising national Democrats eyeing 2020 have visited the early testing ground in recent weeks. Biden entered the hall to cheers from the crowd of more than 1,000. Hello, Iowa. Hello, Cedar Rapids. It's been a long time, he said. The pleasantries didn't last long with Biden quickly pivoting to attack Trump's moral leadership, indirectly charging him with accommodating intolerance as president. He said moral leadership was particularly important after the slayings of 11 people on Saturday at a Pittsburgh synagogue, the deadliest anti-Semitic attack in U.S. history. Biden also noted the two African Americans shot dead at a Kentucky grocery store and the wave of pipe bombs addressed to prominent Trump critics, including Biden himself. Three times this past week the forces of hate have terrorized our fellow Americans for their political beliefs, the color of their skin or their religion, Biden noted. What the hell is happening to us? Biden yelled. Our children are listening. It came as President Trump and First Lady Melania sought to console a community shattered by anti-Semitic violence just hours after he unveiled a divisive immigration proposal that raised new questions about the definition of American citizenship. The Trumps visited Pittsburgh as the first funerals were held for those killed in a weekend synagogue shooting that killed 11 people. With election day one week away, however, neither the president nor his adversaries took a pause from politics. Before consoling those rattled by the deadliest anti-Semitic attack in U.S. history, Trump lashed out at Democrats on social media as he endorsed vulnerable GOP House candidates. He also unveiled a plan to end the constitutional right to citizenship for babies of non-citizens and unauthorized immigrants born in the United States, injecting new energy into his hardline conservative base.